It's really hard to get anything done when 90% of the elites are against you. As opposed to if only 75% of the elites are against you. Right? If Trump can cleave off 25% of the elites, right, he can still get things done. Right? Rupert Murdoch and uh, News Corporation show that you can get things done, you can make money if you can count on support from 20, 20%, 25% of the elites. But if 90, 95% of the elites are against you, it's very hard to get anything done. And Trump, like Nixon before him, is often in great danger of having the elites steadily side against him because things work on momentum. And it's just completely socially unacceptable to be pro-Trump in all sorts of uh, elite social circles growing perhaps ever more unacceptable and so when trump was contesting the 2020 election he couldn't get any high-powered lawyers to take his cases because it just appeared uh, that his case was ridiculous no high-powered lawyers would take his case All right, trump is not exactly assembling the best and the brightest on his various legal teams and in this case his legal team was particularly inept and he paid the price Right? You really want to have the elite on your side. Right? If you want to succeed, right? you, uh, you find out who has power and then you give it to them. You flatter them. You tell them how great they are. And if you don't do that, then uh, you're going to have a lot of misery. G'day, May 40 here. So another thing that jumps out at me about the news media coverage of the Trump conviction is how giddy the news anchors and the reporters were. And that's not just because they're anti-Trump, right? A lot of the giddiness is because it was an exciting event, all right? And so news is exciting, right? 100,000 people every day moving out of poverty, right? Not exciting. So we've had a billion people move out of poverty in the last, what, 30 years in the world. That's not exciting, and so that doesn't make the news. So you can't confuse what's important with what's exciting. Anyway, this Trump conviction is exciting. So if you're a news reporter, if you're a journalist, if you're a commentator, right, this Trump news enhances your social status because people are paying attention to what you're talking about. Right? My father loved it when people would pay attention to his sermons. So my father was never happier than when he was giving a funeral oration because that's when people listen to him the most intensely. And so when you've got breaking news that's widely discussed, such as the uh, Trump conviction on 24 counts, right? You, the journalist, become the center of attention. And if you're the recipient of a ton of attention, it makes you giddy, right? You feel happy. I remember this news conference in 2004 after three people had tested HIV positive on the pornography industry. And so it was the first time in months that all the major players in the industry had gotten together. And there were about uh, 20, 30 TV news cameras on hand, and uh, there was tremendous news media attention, and it just made all of us in the, at, at the news conference absolutely giddy, because we were the number one news story in California that day, and it just made us feel like right at the center of things. So if you ever have the opportunity to feel right in the center of things, to be the person that people are looking to for information and commentary, it makes you giddy. So yeah, I think a lot of the news media is giddy about the Donald Trump conviction because they loathe Donald Trump, but a lot of the majority of the giddy feeling that was characterizing the news media is just being the center of attention, right? This is the number one topic being discussed in America right now. This is exciting. Right, this was not expected. Right? The, the general expectation was not for a guilty verdict, certainly not on all 34 counts. And so when you've got something that's unexpected, when you've got something that makes you the center of attention, when you've got something that makes you important, when you've got something that gets the blood flowing, when you've got some drama operating, right? Journalists love drama. Right? When, when you've got some drama going and excitement and a feeling of uh, importance, then, uh, then yeah, you're gonna feel giddy, right? I would challenge you not to feel giddy when you're the center of attention, right? When people are looking to you for your insights, of course you're gonna feel guilty, giddy. So this isn't something weird going on in the, in the news media, right? This is a, a to be expected response. And so far right now, it looks like the, the Democrats are just much more successful and much more competent they've got the illegal elite on their side. So for example, the anti-gay marriage crowd 
they couldn't find any major law firms to handle their cases because the law firms would be shunned if they, they argue the side for opposing gay marriage. G'day, mate, 40 here, so I'm just thinking who's going to win the enthusiasm gap. I don't see how this is going to increase the enthusiasm of Democrats, right? They already think he's guilty, so this just confirms their views. It should massively increase the enthusiasm of Republicans. Also, not just Democrats are going to be thrilled by this, all right? Establishment Republicans will be thrilled with the Trump conviction. So this could have could have significant effects of creating a new elite because the the Republican establishment are happy with this conviction. The Democratic establishment's happy, right? The elite establishment is happy with this conviction. But there's tremendous energy flowing through the dissident streams of American society. And I don't see how this energizes Trump's opposition because he was already guilty in their eyes.